What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to take a look at the new enterprise application templates. So this is a new set of solutions from Microsoft. And I wrote a blog post about this. I'll put the link in the description below. And over here is a article that was written uh, kind of recently by Ryan Cunningham, who is the VP of Power Apps. And he talks more about these uh, templates here. And we can see here that these are basically pre-built end-to-end solutions uh, for businesses to basically automate their processes, right? And if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see that uh, there is a section here for finance templates, and it talks about the SAP procurement template, right? So the idea is that an organization could basically just install this template and then be up and running uh, with a uh, some Power Apps that uh, have connectivity to other systems like SAP, right? So, so that's what this particular one talks about. And then if we scroll down here, we have human resources templates. And what we'll do in this video is we'll go through and install one of these templates so that you can kind of see what it looks like in the process and that sort of thing, right? So if we scroll down a little bit here, the uh, HR template here, there is uh, one released right now and it's the employee kudos template. So we're gonna install this one and we can see here that there's also some other ones here, employee awards and recognition template, which is coming soon, and the employee onboarding template, which is also coming soon, okay? So those are the templates that are out now and you know you can definitely get a feel for uh, more templates coming and being developed by Microsoft and potentially third parties as well, right? Um, they haven't specifically mentioned that, but it wouldn't surprise me. So uh, let's go ahead here and we'll click on this employee kudos template and it's gonna take us over to this app source page and uh, you just have to wait a couple of seconds and then the get it now button appears and we, we're gonna click on this and it's gonna take us back over to our Power Platform Admin Center. So we'll see that come up in a second here. And here we get to select an environment that we want to install this on, okay? So I'm gonna select an environment here and just go ahead and uh, uh, check these boxes. And for some reason, when you check these, it doesn't actually display properly, I don't know why. But anyway, it's checked. And uh, then just go ahead and uh, click the install button here, okay? So this is now installing the template. It's gonna install some solutions and uh, anything supporting uh, for this template. And uh, so what we'll do, uh, it's, it's basically, yeah, and you can see here, it, it puts it into the Dynamics 365 apps, right? And so here is employee kudos template installing now. So what we'll do is we'll come back in a second uh, once this is installed and then we'll uh, take it from there. Okay, so that's now been installed. Uh, we can see here uh, employee kudos template and there it is installed, okay? So next thing we wanna do is browse out to the PowerApps Maker portal. So I'm gonna to go to make.powerapps.com and what we'll do, we'll take a look at uh, the at what's, what's actually been installed here, the apps firstly, okay? So I'm gonna click on apps here and I'm gonna change the environment over here to the one that I installed this on. And we can see here uh, in a second when this loads. So we have two new apps here. So one is the Kudos app and we can see this is a Canvas app here, okay? And this is the one that the uh, actual employees are gonna use. And the other one here is the Kudos administration app. And this is a model-driven app, okay? So just to give a high level of what this is actually doing, right? What this solution's doing is uh, this is a scenario where employees are able to give kudos to other employees, okay? So uh, they'll be basically logging into uh, this kudos app and then they can select an employee that they want to give kudos to and then they can submit that kudos and then the receiver of the kudos will be able to see that and and you know feel happy basically right so so that's what this is doing and then there's an administrator and uh, administration app uh, in the back end to kind of configure some stuff okay so those are the two things that get installed and the other thing here is uh, if we go to solutions we can see that uh, there is a couple of solutions that get installed as well here. Um, if we just click into the Kudos solution here, what we can see is uh, basically there are the apps over here. And then if we go to connection references, 
what you'll want to do here is actually set these up uh, because if you don't uh, do this step here, then you're going to run into some errors when you actually run uh, the, the Kudos app. So what we'll do, we'll click onto each one of these and over here in the right, it says connection. And we'll just want to basically create a connection here. Uh, and then we can uh, get this configured. So uh, this one's going to be a Dataverse connection. So we'll select Dataverse here. We'll click on Create here. And I'll just be asked to re-authenticate. And that one looks good. Okay, so now if I go back over here, uh, I, can, I should be able to refresh this here and then I'll be able to select that connection and click save, okay? And then save changes, okay? So that's the Dataverse connection. The second one is the O365 connection. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, create a new connection. And this one here is going to be Office 365 users. So I'm gonna select that one, click create and select uh, the account. And then if I go back to the solution, uh, let me go ahead and select this one. I refresh and then I'll be able to select it and then again go ahead and save these changes and then the final one here is outlook okay so i'm going to double click on this one and do the same thing uh, let's go ahead and create a new connection and i'll select outlook here okay click create select my user and that should be it okay we got that there now back to the solution uh, refresh select the account here the connection, click save, save changes. Okay, so now all these three here are wired up. And the next thing we can do is actually head over to the uh, Power Automate Maker Portal. So if you go to make.powerautomate.com, and then if I click on uh, my flows here, we'll see that these are the uh, flows that were just installed. And these two at the bottom here are actually uh, off at the moment. So, uh, and I think it's due to the connection references that weren't set up actually at that time. So what you want to do now is just turn this on. So do that, and then we'll do the same thing for this one. If you turn it on uh, from the top or the bottom here, it's fine. And this one will start up in a second. We can see this one's already been activated. Okay, and now this one's activated as well. Great, so now let's head back over to, let's close this tab here, that's the connections. We'll close this one. And close this one and we're back over here in the Paris Maker portal and so the next thing is let's go ahead and open up the administration app okay so I'm gonna go and play this one and uh, there's some setup we'll need to do uh, so you can see here uh, so it's a very simple model driven app this is the active kudos so basically when someone gives a kudos to another employee, it's going to appear here as a record. But before we do anything, we need to do this badges, okay? So we're gonna create a new badge, and here I'm gonna call this uh, number one, and subtitle your number one. Okay, so this is kind of gonna be a fun badge title, right? Like you're number one, you're the best, right? <laughs> so. Uh, what we're going to do here, and you can put a sort order in if you want, if you have multiple badges, which you probably would. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save this record. And then now I get this badge image here that I can choose a file from. Okay, so I'm going to choose a file here. And I created this really simple kind of ugly looking uh, number one <laughs> with a circle around it. That's my badge. Okay, so that's all good. So now I'm going to save and close this. And I think we're ready to actually try this out. So what I'm going to do, go back over here, and now let's play the uh, the Kudos app. So this is, you know, a uh, Canvas app that I mentioned. And first time here, you'll just need to allow the permissions. So I'm going to go ahead and allow. And uh, obviously, because this is a Canvas app, you can kind of run it anywhere, but I'm just running it on a browser. And we get this nice little welcome page here. I'm going to go ahead and click Get Started. And it says, uh, employee kudos, and it says, hey, Carl, uh, submit a new kudos. I'd like to recognize. And then when you click on this, you get to actually choose an employee that you want to give kudos to, right? So I'm going to select Alan Steiner here, and then I'm going to click next. And now it's displaying all my badges, right? So I only have one badge, the number one badge. And so I'm going to select that one and click next. 
And now I get to put a subject in and a message, right? So the subject I'm going to put here is, uh, uh, you're the best, right? And I'm going to say, uh, thanks for working overtime this week. Okay. And so that's the message. I'm going to click add message and you can kind of see, um, and by the way, you get, sometimes I get these errors here. Error was raised by the control. Um, I'm not going to go into that because it's just a demo, but every now and then I kind of see that. Um, but yeah, basically you can see what's happening here is this uh, app has been built for us. Like if you think about it before I submit this, you know, all of this infrastructure has been built. Uh, we just installed this from the from the from App Source, and you know we're up and running with this uh, little little application, right? So uh, this all looks good and. Um, by the way, you know, you have also these uh, settings and other things here. If I click on settings real quick, you know, you can change the, the mode here, dark mode, high contrast, light mode. So, you know, that's all cool. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and submit this. So I click submit. And then what's happening in the background is those flows that we configured, they uh, are running. And this says success, your kudos has been submitted. Awesome. I'm going to click go home here. And now what can happen uh, is Alan Steiner is going to receive an email with his kudos. Okay, so now let's log in as Alan and take a look and see what he sees. Okay, so now I'm logged in as uh, Alan over here, right? And this is his email and this is what he sees. So he's got a new email that says, you received a new kudo. And it is from uh, me and it is to Alan, uh, CC'd probably his manager or something, and it says... You've received a new kudo, and then if you scroll down a little bit, it says, uh, I've sent you a kudo titled, You're the Best, and then here's a little message, thanks for working overtime this week, right? If you just scroll over this congrats, you get this little, nice little animation, right? So there's the kudo, and so now let's go and log in as Alan and see what he sees in the app, right? So before we do that, what we want to do, we want to go back to the uh, I'm going to log back in as myself and we'll give uh, everyone permission to see this app in the first place. So if I head back over here, I'm back logged back into myself over here. And then what I want to do is I want to go to this uh, Kudos app and I want to hit share here. And then here I can share it with uh, basically individual people or everyone. And I'm just going to click everyone here in my company, right? And then I'm just going to click the share button. So that way, uh, Alan will be able to see the app and he can uh, log in, all right? Okay, so I'm back over here as Alan, and what I'm gonna do here is uh, paste in the URL of the app, and I just copied this from uh, the app when I was logged in, and so it's prompting me for permissions here. I'm gonna click Allow, and so now uh, Alan is in as the app here, into the app. So I'm gonna click Get Started as him, and it says, Hello, Alan. So that's all good. And then if I click on my kudos here, then I go to kudos received, right? This is, now it's, it shows Alan's kudos that he received, right? So he received one from me and uh, it says you're, it's the you're the, be, you're the best one. And if you click on it, it gets some, gives some more details here, right? So uh, that's kind of it. This is the new enterprise application templates for Microsoft. So you can kind of get an idea of where they're going with this. Um, you know, they, these are accelerators. They're not really meant to be tools where you can learn from them in order to, to, uh, learn how to build these, but these are more about getting up and running quickly, uh, with some predefined business processes, right? So look for more of these to come out. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.